Hitachi is delighted to work with Goetsurf and become Goetsurf's lead partner in Electric Freightway project. And it's fantastic to see that the UK government is investing so much money into decarbonising transport, especially heavy goods vehicles. As part of Hitachi, we incubated a business called Hitachi Zero Carbon. We deliver smart charging optimization and battery monitoring and management solutions. So Hitachi Zero Carbon will deliver the data analytics behind all of this. We will set up a platform where we analyze all the data coming off the vehicles and the charts points. And there will be a variety of use cases and the breadth of applications with different trailers, refrigerated or not, etc. And we will use that in order to model the total cost of ownership. We will be able to show there's an actual positive business case to deploy and implement electric lorries. Hitachi Zero Carbon previously led the world's largest commercial electric vehicle trial, so focused on private hire vehicles and vans. Um, effectively, coming out of that, we saw the opportunity around HGVs and electrification there. Um, so then we started working with GridServe. So to do this, we're very much going to take data from vehicles operating on the road to really understand the real world performance. So for every funded vehicle, we'll have a really deep data set on the vehicle locations, what the consumption of energy was, the charging behavior, what's in the back of the tractor unit, the type of trailer, the type of tire, what's actually been carried. Uh, so we'll use all this to inform the TCO. The really important thing about total cost of ownership is where it is today won't necessarily where it will be tomorrow or the day after. The strength of the consortium is that we've got such a variety of partners involved and we're going to see each of these partners take on battery electric trucks. I think the real impact it should have is the widespread adoption across the industry in the UK. So for that to happen, it needs to be cost competitive. All the outputs, all the insights would come in a series of reports. So there's five in total. The idea is, as we learn things along the programme, we release them. It's not a case of holding it all to the end because we want the learnings along the way and the findings to inform how the rest of the programme goes.